Hey guys, Ed here with yet another installment in our Johnny Five build series. Today we'll be doing some small modifications to his eye lenses and making his eye socket tubes, which means first some work on the manual lathe and then over to the Torbach 1100MX with a fourth axis on it to finish those up. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. First, let's modify these eye lenses, which were donated to the project by Terry Andrews, aka J5Guru on YouTube, card here to his channel. These are the exact kind of lenses used in the movie, really key to nailing his personality, so we're thrilled to have the right lenses. We just have to carefully hold them in the lathe and modify them by facing off this engraving down to the bare brass. To allow me to power feed this safely, leaving a consistent finish, I'm starting at the inside and feeding away from the lens. I also find this generally tends to leave a better finish. Now onto the eye tubes. These were a bit of an odd size, so I just grabbed some aluminum tube stock we had on hand, and in order to be able to get a solid grip on that without deforming that tube too much, I whipped out this quick stiffener piece on the 1100MX, which has a pad for each of the three jaws on the chuck. light dead blow press fit into the tube and with that there we'll be able to crank down really hard with no risk of damaging or misforming the tube during turning. This extruded tube is far from being truly round so that makes it pretty hard to try to indicate in any better than five thou or so. So in this case I just replaced the knurling wheels in our knurling tool with some bearings that happened to fit just right, bumping it in with a good amount of force from the cross feed to average out that run out and get the part running as true as we can before starting to remove any material. As the tube got thinner, ran into a little bit of chatter, so just rubber banded some rubber strip on there and that quieted that right up. Then moving to the OD, a trick I learned from A-Bomb, just coiled up some rubber air hose inside of it and that killed the chatter there as well. Once the lathe work was done, we were able to bring it right over to the fourth axis on the 1100MX, indicate it in, drill these mounting holes, cut this rectangular hole for the vents, and tap the part off. For these slotting operations, we're using a three flute, eight inch end mill from Lakeshore Carbide, running a 2D contour set to ramp. That is running full out at 10,000 RPM, cutting at a feed rate of 30 inches a minute, or one thou per tooth. Ramping at a maximum step down of one tenth of the tool's diameter. Card here at the Johnny Fives page on the NYC CNC site, where you can download the F3D file for this project and check out the cam and everything else in more detail.
And when we get to final assembly on this, this is where they'll go on his head. In the movie, they had a dedicated head for this eye pop motion, but the uh, J5 build team designed a mechanism that fits in the full functional head with the eye pop motion and the pan and tilt of the eye lens and iris motion. So they were able to get all of that in there in one robot. So we will absolutely have that functionality on ours. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with another collaborator part unboxing with a bit of assembly thrown in. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. See you next time.